Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany, and today I'm going to be walking th- you through sketchbook number two. So sketchbook number two is actually not really a sketchbook. It's actually just a bunch of scrap pieces of paper because I'm really, really awful at keeping pages in a book. I like the freedom to be able to manipulate them and cut them up and play with them and destroy them and then put them into a like a photo album or something for later. That way I'm able to do whatever it is I want to with them. So let's get started. This is going to be from 2003. This was done two days after my or three days after my birthday in 2003. So in 2003, I would have just turned... 14. And when I had just turned 14, I had just gotten my very first boyfriend because my mom said I couldn't have a boyfriend until I turned 14. And so there's a lot of him in these drawings and I was with him for seven years. So he'll show up quite a bit. Um, I remember drawing this piece while I was sitting in social studies class. He sat in the seat right in front of me and we had been talking about Deer and Gray, which was this fantastic visual K Japanese band, um, and they were really popular. And so I wrote my own little story about a visual K band, and these were the characters. And I had just gotten my very first set of Prismacolor markers, and that's what I used to color them. And I was terrible at it. And I, you'll notice, I never use Prismacolor markers even now because I'm still pretty awful at them. They have a lot more pigment to them and I find it really difficult to blend them. So I don't use them and I use these ones up and then never bought them again. So here's the first page. This is Hori, Zuto, and Tojiru. I don't even remember what their story was about anymore. So yeah, I don't know what this story was about either, but I was planning on making it into a comic because I put it on comic line page which has non-photo blue marking lines all the way around it so that you can make your measurements and make your boxes all equal sizes. They're really, really great paper. They're really soft. I like using marker on them. Um, I still have a few pages left over and I may end up using them in the next couple of weeks here because I have a couple of commissions that require it. So I'll probably use up the rest of my paper and then I gotta figure out where I'm gonna get some more. This is that boyfriend. <laughs> um, his name is Dennison, and I was a bit obsessed with him back in the day. We were little goth kids. We wore a lot of trip jeans and shopped at Hot Topic, and we all had funky colored hair and piercings, and we still are kind of like that, but we've toned it down on the black and uh, added some superheroes to the mix, but we still have a little bit of that us in us here. Um, I'm wearing my Batman shirt right now. So, yeah, that's that was, I think, watercolor is what it looks like here. Here's him again. Oh my god, there's a lot of him. Um, he used to wear all these, like, dog chains and stuff, and I don't know. Um, when he, when I met him, he used to wear a doorknob around his neck on this big, like, dog chain thing. It was really weird, and I had to ask him what the heck it was all about. And what it was, was that him and his friends would sit around his dad's house, and they would play this game called Doorknob, which was whenever anyone farted, you got to chase them down and beat the crap out of them until they touched a doorknob, unless they were able to touch a doorknob before someone else called Doorknob. So he carried a doorknob with him at all times. I'm assuming this means that he was a very gassy dude, But I don't remember him being overly gassy or anything. And I was with him for a long time. So I don't know that that was what the issue was. I'm still kind of proud of this drawing. Um, I was a kid when I did this. I was probably 13. And I did it all with a ballpoint pen. And there was no erasing. And I challenged myself to not erase it all on this. And I think I did a pretty good job. Um, The shoulders are a little little bit too wide. Um, the eyes are huge, but that was kind of my style at the time. And I think I did a really good job of this one. Um, the nose is really weird, but I think I was just doing noses like that back then. 
Yeah, I definitely was, because here's another one just the same way. This is from Christmas 2003, and this is Denison and me standing underneath a mistletoe, because boyfriends are nice when you're a kid. Boyfriends are still nice. Let's, let's get that straight. Boyfriends are awesome. But when you're 13 years old, boyfriends are the thing to have, because you get to kiss them. And kissing boys is awesome. I don't know. Kissing girls could be awesome, too, you know. Um, so this piece was done in class and I'm really, really proud of this one still. And I've kept a hold on it for a really long time. And the reason for that is because of its looseness. The character and the figure is so loose. There's so much movement. It just feels like it's just like, and it just does whatever it needs to do. And there's nothing weird about it. And I love that because it's not awkward. It's, it, it's flowing and it does exactly what it needs to do and it's a tiny little piece so it's not a big deal but still i really enjoyed how movie this is so this is that character again from the very first picture that i showed you apparently he had gone through some changes because he looks a little bit different here um let me see if i can get that other piece out and show you so here's what he looked like before and here's what he looks like later. So he's gained some running makeup on his face and he's gotten away from the Victorian garb and now he's wearing ruffly pants and a tank top and I don't know. But apparently I thought that I could write in Japanese really well and I just put that all over the place. So yes, I'm kind of ashamed of this. And then this is a drawing I did in art class when I was a freshman in high school, which was still early 2003. And this is a picture of a friend of mine. Her name is Cassie. And she just had really, really great style or what I thought was amazing. I don't know why my computer just did that. She had like amazing style or at least what I thought was amazing style when I was 13 years old. I, she was 15 so it's she wasn't you know we, we were all kind of awkward and in high school so um, I drew her as a mage a white mage even though she was all dark colors because um, she was one of the nicest people ever and I figured she needed to be a white mage and the happy demon boy my friend, my boyfriend, Denison, was going to write a little comic, and he wanted a cover. And his comic was going to be drawn in all stick figures, which is why the simple style here. And so I made him a little cover for his character, little comic thing, and yeah, it was cute. And this is the last picture in this little video. This is... I, the duality of Denison. I don't know. Apparently he was good and evil or something. Um, yeah. I really liked drawing dudes with really low rise pants at this point in my life. I'm not sure what that was all about, but I did it with everybody and it was weird. Um, but anyway, I, yeah. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys coming and checking out my video. Um, I hope you have time to like and subscribe and come back and visit me again sometime because I would certainly love that. Um, thank you so much for stopping in and I will see you next time.